We are currently in the car driving to New Schwanstein Castle uh, on our way to Munich. It is absolutely a beautiful day. The sun came out. There's still some clouds, but it's gorgeous out. And we're just driving through the countryside in Germany here. And it's just rolling green pastures and barns and houses. Everything has solar panels. So I'm guessing the German state must subsidize solar panels or something for the farmers out here at least. Uh, but we are probably about halfway to New Schwanstein Castle. Uh, hopefully the sun stays out until we get there. So just about five or ten minutes ago I was talking about the beautiful green rolling fields in Germany and in just that quick amount of time it's turned into a white winter wonderland. <laughs> uh, we're up a higher elevation, obviously, in the Alps here, uh, but it is literally just snow everywhere, but just a light covering, and it's beautiful driving through here. We're still, I guess, 50, 54 kilometers from the castle that we're heading to, about a half hour, uh, but I kind of hope it's still snow covered over there because we want to take the drone up but that would be cool okay so we are on the autobahn one of the autobahns and there is now no speed limit jamie is doing 145 kilometers per hour which has got to be about 90. yeah 160 is uh so if we die in a fiery crash, this is my final farewell to everybody. I love you all. We're now doing 100. 100 miles per hour? Yeah. And we're still not the fastest people on this road. So we just pulled off the side of the road and came back to this little town. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so small and peaceful here. But this is the view that you get when you come back here. And it's like this little mining town that still has these ore cars running in the distance here uh, up the mountain and bringing back ore. It's kind of crazy. I've never seen anything like this. So who says fairy tales don't come true? finished our visit to New Schwanstein Castle. Stein. New Schwanstein Castle. Um, we didn't actually go in the castle. Uh, we paid seven euro to park and then just kind of get a view of it and take some photos. But Tim seemed to like it. It was his bucket list item. So Beautiful. it was going to be a 20 minute walk up to the grounds. And then you had to pay to go in. And we weren't particularly interested in that. And I think there was lights. Well, I would have, except yeah. There's a long, long line to get in for tickets on the day of, and they didn't have any tickets available in advance when we were planning on coming out here. So that's how busy it was. Now we're back in the car and we're driving the last little part to Munich and then we're staying there tonight. <laughs>